Come on, fly or something? <laughs> what is it, fly? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> just, just for fun, you know. God dang. Why Little beat it car. Oh, you just did everything? Yeah, just turned it into some fun, man. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. What, what, I mean, what do y'all do? How y'all do the axle? I mean, Ultimately, um, the car has CV axles, so the CV axles can go like this. Imagine it's not a straight axle like yeah, a truck. Yeah, yeah. So, what we did was we cut the control arms uh, in the rear, the upper control arm is short, uh -huh. and the front, the lower control arm is pushed out. So, ultimately, all it is is control arm modifications, and it's professionally aligned. All new wheel bearings, tie rods, ball joints, and bushings. So, okay, I mean, yeah. It's still actually safe. Yeah. You know, people look at it like, dude, that wheel's about to rip off. But ultimately, it has new stuff. It's not like I'm doing it on an old beat car. I yeah, yeah. I've rebuilt it. Yeah, yeah. I want. But it's fun because it's such an old car. Everything's been no more than a couple thousand for almost everything done. You know, I've. What, what, you, you have a shop or something? Or no, just out of the garage. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's super easy to do with these yeah. cars. With the old yeah. Japanese cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ground up. What is that? Uh, uh, that's a. Miata. Yeah, Miata, that's right. Mazda Miata. Yeah, Mazda Miata. And those are the best cars. Like, but if you want to just get something old to beat the shit out of, yeah, dude. I mean, you get clutch kick it all day, and it'll hold up.